Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today I want to show you how to make these really cool um, dress shirt cards for guys for birthdays or Father's Day or whatever occasion you might need a, a dress shirt card for maybe a retirement. Um, here are a couple that I made a number of years ago uh, with some other uh, papers that we used to sell. And you'll notice that this card, the collar is the same pattern as the card itself. This one, it's the opposite side. The pattern um, on the opposite side of this is this piece here. So um, I'm going to kind of show you both ways to do that. We're going to be using the Truly Tailored Bundled for this project. And this is a bundle that you can get in our current occasions catalog at least through the end of May 2018 where the um, stamp set is going to be retiring. So we're going to use um, the saying here, today is your say, well, actually, we might just go ahead and use this. One. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, and so a couple other pieces in here to create the card. But I do want to show you how to get the folding done. The True Gentleman Designer Series paper has six double-sided patterns in it. So you've got these six patterns on one side, flip it over, and then you have these six patterns on the opposite side. Now, to create a card like this one where you just fold over um, the, and the opposite side shows, you have to like the pattern on the opposite side. So I've decided to make my card where I use the same paper uh, for the collar as I do for the shirt. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those ways. So to make this one here, we're going to start out with a piece of card or a piece of designer series paper that measures four inches by five and seven eighths inches. We're going to bring in the stamp and trimmer here, and we're going to place the designer series paper on the trimmer long side at the top, and we're going to scoot it over to the five in five eighths of an inch mark, okay? And we're going to score that just like so, okay? Now we're going to fold this back on that score line. and burnish that with my bone folder. So this is what we have now. So we're gonna bring the trimmer back in. We're gonna put the piece again at the 5 8 of an inch mark. And this time we're gonna do a little bit of cutting. We're gonna start at the four inch mark and we're gonna cut up to three. And then we're gonna raise up the track, move the blade up to the top and come down to the one inch spot. So we're gonna to go to three and one, okay? So now we have this, we have our folded piece and we have our little cut lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down this top flap, whoops, snail got a little crazy on me there, glue that piece down and then I'm going to bring both of these, first I'm going to kind of fold them, you know, kind of run my fingers on them just a little bit so they want to kind of fold in and I'm going to bring them in until the two points meet about like that so those two center points are going to meet i'm going to press that down with my bone folder and then i'm going to burnish it okay so that is how you make a shirt that you want the same pattern to be on the front so now we'll bring in another piece and I'll show you how to create it with opposite pattern. Okay, we've got the trimmer in. Now this time, the piece of paper that we're going to use measures four inches again um, across, but this is five and a quarter inches long, whereas the other piece was five and seven eighths. So on this piece, we're going to line it over, same thing, five. We're going to come down to the one inch mark and we're going to come up to the three inch mark. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to kind of start rubbing those to get them a little pliable. And then we're going to bring these in again, lining up the two center points to where they meet and then burnish it with your bone folder. Okay. And so that is the way that you can have the opposite pattern from the back side of the designer series paper on the front if you happen to like that combination. So we'll get rid of that piece. We're going to bring in our other shirt. And then I also have a piece of different pattern of the designer series paper. This one measures four by four. It's a square and we've got the back side. And so now I just have to determine which uh, pattern do I want on the front for my tie. And I think I'm actually going to go with the tranquil tide. And so um, there's a couple ways you can do this. 
So this is the side that I want to show. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to work on this side. If you want, you can take a pencil and draw a line down the middle because um, you're going to be needing that for uh, visual reference. So you're going to put your ruler at the point at the top and the bottom and then draw yourself a pencil line or whatever line you might be able to use. Okay, so we're going to use that for a visual reference. And we're going to bring these in. Maybe I'll zoom in a little. Okay, so there's our pencil line. And we're going to bring these two sides in so that they line up with that center pencil line. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect. If you aren't exact, the tie is still going to look good. This side also needs to come over to the center. Burnish that with your bone folder. And so this is what we have now. So this is the front of the tie. You're going to pull this down about one and a half inches. Now, since you don't have um, any distinguishing marks of what's in the middle, you're going to have to eyeball this to make sure that your point um, is coming down into the center. And then you're going to burnish that. You're going to fold your point up about halfway. And this isn't too hard because you can see where the uh, two pieces come together there. Burnish that. And then we're going to fold this up one more time, meeting at the top. Okay, so this is what we've done so far. And then this little teeny thing I just bring to the back. Um, that little flap goes to the back. So now we're going to turn that over and we're going to bring these two sides into the center. And they might be a little bit stiff, but that's okay. If you just work with it a little bit, you can get it to go. Again, burnishing it with your bone folder. And then this piece, same thing. Bring it over and burnish that with your bone folder. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use a pencil line, and I am really smashing this down, you guys, because I want it to be fairly as flat as I can get it so that it sits on the front of the card really nice. And so there we have our adorable little necktie. Okay, that's making your tie without, um, with just using a pencil line. Now if you want to be able to see um, on both sides of the paper when you're working with it, you can score your four by four piece of paper for your necktie. So you'll put it in your trimmer, one point of the track is, is in the track here, one point is in the track up here. And then you're just going to, whoops, that's my cutting blade. We don't want to cut it. We want to score it. Okay. So then you'll have a score line. You can see that score line there, I think, on both sides probably. So you're going to see that score line, and that's going to help you then roll your paper. So instead of rolling it over to the pencil line, you'll roll it over to the score line, and you'll just complete your tie in the exact same way that I showed you earlier. Okay. Same thing, you'd flip it down. Again, now this time you can have the point line up to the score line there. So you can see there's the score line, here's my point. And then you can line that up. And same thing, you're still going to burnish everything down with your bone folder. Flip that up halfway and flip it up again fold that to the back. The only thing that I don't like about this method is you do end up with a score line on the front of your tie and if you're um, if you don't like the look of that then use the pencil line. And again we're just going to do this same thing where we bring in the two sides and then we'll have it done. So two ways you can use a pencil line or you can use um, the scoring line, whatever way it works better for you. Like I said, I prefer the pencil line so I don't have a score line down the center of my tie. Okay, so now we'll bring our shirt back in. We have our tie and I want to kind of eyeball this. So I'm going to kind of bring these two flaps down and then I'm going to kind of eyeball where I want my tie to end up. And I kind of want a little tiny bit of it to show up here in the collar when it's all glued down. And so now I'll notice that it's about, you know, a quarter inch from the bottom. So when I actually glue it, I will be able to get that in the right spot. So first thing I want to do is add some glue to these back flaps on the tie, just so that the tie stays glued together. OK, 
Okay, so press that. And then you'll have your tie. And then we're going to just add some glue on the back of the tie and add it to the shirt in the spot that we talked about. So we know it's about a quarter inch from the bottom ish. Center it on both sides. That looks pretty good with that little bit sticking out at the top. And so I can now um, finish gluing down my tie. Okay. And then I want to get these two collar pieces to stay. So I'm going to bring in a couple of dimensionals and I'm going to add the dimensionals right where the score line is. One on each side. And then I'm going to add mini glue dots to these two top corners here. So I will just press my glue dot onto the paper. Okay. Remove the paper backings from your dimensionals. Bring the two sides over, press the glue dots onto the tie, press the dimensionals down. And then I do like to press pretty hard to make sure that they're stuck. And then there we have our shirt card. Now I want to add a little bit of fun to the front of the card, so I'm going to bring in um, one of the sentiments from the stamp set. So I've got the to a classy kind of guy for the inside, and then I am going to go ahead and use today is your day celebrate in style. All right, I've got a strip of vanilla cardstock that measures three quarter of an inch by three and one quarter inches. And we're gonna bring in some Tranquil Tide ink, which is one of the colors that coordinates with this paper pack. And we'll try to get that in the center. There we go. And then we're gonna bring in some paper snips here and we're just gonna flag the ends. But this is a little too long, so I'm just going to snip it up. So I like to come in right down the center and then just snip off from the corners in, like so. Trim a little bit of that edge off. Again, come in from the center. Okay, got that done. All right, clean up the mess a little bit. And then this is going to go right on the tie like that. So we're just going to add a little bit of glue to the back here. And then lay that over the tie, you know, wherever we think is the middle. About like so. And then the last thing I want to do to decorate the outside is I want to bring in some of our Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. These are going to be part of the Share What You Love bundle promotion for uh, you to purchase in May, which is going to be really cool. And they will be included in the bundle. And I'm going to use these uh, So Saffron Vanilla E color ones. And I'm just going to put them right on top of the little dot that was on the stamp. And I am using a piercing tool to pick these up because I don't have any fingernails really that I can use to pick those off of the sheet. And so this just makes it a little easier for me. That into position. Okay, add a little bit of fun there. Now we've also got an inside panel that we're gonna decorate. So I've got another strip of the designer series paper. So I'm just going to add a tiny strip of glue along the edge and then we'll just lay this strip of paper right there on the edge. Snip off the excess and bring it to the top. And this uh, strip of paper I think is about a half inch wide and then my inside panel is a four by five and a quarter. Okay, snip off the excess there. That's going to go on the inside, but I've also got this to a classy kind of guy stamp. And I'm going to bring in a scrap of Very Vanilla. We'll ink this up in the same color, the Tranquil Tide. Stamp that. Bring in a scrap of the Knight of Navy and my tailored tag punch. So we'll give ourselves a layer of Knight of Navy there. This piece I'm just going to fussy cut out, so I'm just going to use my scissors and just cut around the shape here. Like that. 
and then we're just going to add these two pieces together. Like so. Bring in our inside panel. We're going to lay that oh, about like so. So we still have a little room at the bottom to write a message. And then the last thing I want to do to jazz up this inside just a little bit is I've got this little bow tie image from the stamp set. This little tiny bow tie, super cute. And we're just going to add the bow tie right below this uh, diamond shape. Just like that. So that's going to be the inside of the card. So our main card base is some Knight of Navy card stock. It's four and a quarter by 11. Fold that, get that burnished down nicely. Go ahead and add the dress shirt to the front with some liquid glue. And we're just going to start down here and kind of see where we might want to center that. I think about like that looks pretty good. Press that into place. Go ahead, open up the card, add the inside panel. And I do like to do this by, oops, get that ink pad out of the way, lining up the bottom and the two sides, giving equal distance for those. And then at the top, it doesn't really matter because it's all navy up there and you aren't going to be able to tell the difference. Okay. And so there we have it. We have the Today is Your Day celebrating style to a classy kind of guy. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And if you do enjoy what you see, please give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me out, lets me know that you're enjoying my content. And please subscribe down here in the corner to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you need to order your own truly tailored bundle, please, I would appreciate your business at shoppingwithbarb.com. I do offer free gifts with purchase every month. You can check those out on my blog at barbstamps.com. So thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.